Welcome to this uh, new series called Beginnings. Uh, we're going to be looking at the book of Genesis and how everything uh, started, how the world began, how did the universe get started. Uh, the first four words in the Bible, Genesis chapter 1, written by Moses, are in the beginning, God. But that's not really where the story begins. The story begins with an empty tomb. The disciples who ran everywhere for cover when Jesus was arrested, then they watched him be crucified and they saw him be put in a tomb. Their faith was over. The person they thought was the Messiah had been killed and all their hopes were dashed. And then they begin to get appearances of Jesus. Jesus appeared to Peter and John and Mary and some other women. And suddenly these people who had ran when he was captured were proclaiming all over Jerusalem that Jesus had been raised from the dead. Almost overnight, 10,000 people became Christians. It was like crazy. Well, then Saul, he was very upset that so many people were becoming Christians. He hated Christians, so he did everything he could to put them in jail. He was walking from Jerusalem to Damascus one day to put Christians in jail. And Jesus met him, spoke to him from heaven, why are you persecuting me? And it was at that point, Paul, he became Paul. He gave his life to Christ, and Paul was called by God to be an apostle to the Gentiles. When he took the message to the Gentiles, the hardest thing for them to accept was that they had to give up everything they'd believed in the past, that there were many gods. Romans, Greeks, Persians, Babylonians, Assyrians, Egyptians, all believed... They all had one thing in common. They believed in many gods. Well, with their new interest in Jesus, they began to pour over the New Testament writings, and they began to look at the Old Testament. So when they got to the beginning of the Old Testament, it reads, in the beginning, God. That was way different from anything they'd ever been taught before. Only one God. You have to get rid of your other gods, the Christian faith taught. So we're going to be looking in this series at what the beginnings tell us about life. Now, there are three main worldviews competing to shape the future of this world. One is Christianity. Christians believe that God created the universe and his son died for our sins to reconcile us back into a relationship with him. All people are valuable, made in God's image. The second competing uh, worldview is Islam. They believe in God too, but they call him Allah. He's very uncaring, unkind, harsh, cruel, distant. Love is hard to find. The third competing worldview is secularism, or atheism, or socialism. There is no God, there are no moral values. Right is whatever you choose for yourself. So we're going to be looking in this series at which worldview you choose, and what's the one that Jesus teaches. I want to ask you to discuss a question uh, in your group today. What do you believe about the beginning of the world? Do you believe God created it? And what were you taught? And, and what do you believe now? What do, you, what do, you, do you think things evolved to what they are? Or it's simply all God? Uh, share what you believe and then go through your study. Hope you have a good time together. Don't forget to pray for each other. Thank you.